Hi everyone, welcome to the Creative Wandering Duo. This is Dave and Sandra Fisher. Thank you for joining us. And welcome to all the new subscribers. We enjoy hear, hearing from you all, so uh, leave comments. Um, this video is, is about uh, getting the skirting on our mobile uh, painted so that we can build a planter box along that edge and uh, we hope you uh, will follow along and enjoy the process. We do some strange things filling that planter box so uh, keep watching. I know the first part's probably boring as watching paint dry but it's part of the process. And I'm sorry, you'll be watching this in July. It was filmed a lot earlier in, in June. So, roll that intro. I'm applying the final color which is a gray a dark gray and uh, yeah I've kind of sped it up a bit so you don't have to watch forever in the day because it is rather boring watching the paint dry this is um, the garden box that Dave built. Here we're putting in a uh, fabric uh, liner and we didn't have very much left on the roll. We've used it in a lot of different uh, beds already that we've made. So we'll be uh, putting plastic in here too. We have um, cardboard and uh, not plastic, cardboard is what we're going to put in, sorry. But we've got old pieces of uh, lumber that we're putting in the bottom. They will break down over time and in the meantime they will help to uh, keep moisture in. And those bits of plywood on the bottom well, they'll help to keep the grass from growing into that because this is right on the, the grass. So if you don't have gardening fabric, just use cardboard as a liner. It'll work. And we did line the very bottom of where this box is that's all lined with cardboard. Uh, it will break down over time, but it will also stop the roots and grass and weeds and, and uh, such from growing up through that uh, fabric liner. And here we're adding bigger chunks of rotted wood. It helps so that you don't have to add as much soil and it uh, will fill up the, the box. We're not going to be uh, planting potatoes or carrots or anything like that into there so we don't have to be digging through the soil. I think this year it'll mainly be flowers that are planted in this box. I've got um, all our vegetables already planted. And here we have uh, 
branches from the rose bushes and from our hedge. Uh, so they'll break down over time as well, but it also helps to act as a filler. You can put uh, leaves, uh, grass cuttings, if you've got shredded paper, you can put that in the bottom because it'll all break down. Those are all natural uh, resources that will break down into compost. No, we didn't put the plastic bag in there, but we had that on top of cardboard and as you can see we're just putting that all into the the box this helps with drainage Ooh, that's a, Ooh, that's a wet, wet <laughs> we've had rain I'll go get it. store-bought compost but it's compost it will help because it is well rotted compost it will help break down all that wood we put in here faster compost but the more rotten it is the more moisture it will hold to help compost but also moist keep keep moisture for the plants
we needed just a little bit more soil in the box and uh, instead of mixing in the bag of peat moss that we had I had some plant uh, a big bag of planting soil pot for pots and so we just mixed that in it had a lot of uh, peat moss and vermiculite and stuff like that in there so it, it's a little lighter soil so we mixed that in with the compost and just to finish topping up the the box Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Now it's just to get everything cleaned up and get the bags packed away. And Sorry, we cut the heads off again. We're good at that. Get the area all cleaned up. Now it's to get our tools cleaned up. I'm going to go turn on the hose. And I just got around the corner and Dave hollered and said, guess what? We forgot to put our bags of uh, grass and leaves in the bottom and also our shredded paper. We had three bagfuls and we forgot to put them in the bottom. So I guess they'll have to go into something next year. But I want to water this down so that the dirt can settle in the and get well soaked through. We are expecting rain, but you never know. Weathermen have been known to be wrong. So we'll soak this all down, get it ready for planting, and hopefully the dirt will all settle down. And uh, but thank you all for joining us. Um, remember to subscribe. Thank you to the new subscribers for subscribing. We appreciate each and every one of you and you helping out our channel a lot. Um, we have a lot of subscribers or a lot of people, not subscribers, a lot of viewers that uh, aren't subscribing. So yeah, please click that subscribe button if, if what we're doing interests you. And uh, remember to leave comments and click the thumbs up button. We appreciate that too. It all helps our channel. So remember to stay real. And uh, thank you for coming along. Bye for now.